Let's go. Yes. All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode here of Outdoor Sensei. My name's Chmua. And today's first day of open water, man. I'm pretty excited. You know, it's been a long time since I had that feeling of, you know, of just a fish biting in open water. You guys know what I'm talking about. And man, I'm just so excited, you guys. But right now, we are at a little creek here, as you guys can probably, I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but I have the GoPro kind of facing up, but small little creek here and uh, we got wild trout here and let me tell you these wild trout are super smart. Anytime you come out here to fish these wild trout, you want to make sure you don't wear any bright clothing. You want to wear dark clothing because they got really good eyesight and a lot of times these trout are hiding in really dark places because if they are out in the open on a sunny day, birds can see them and then for example, uh, if an eagle see them or something like that, you know, they'll, they'll come and pick it up. So that's why these trout are really smart and they're always hiding really good on, on mostly on the side or whenever you see any deep pools, that's where you're going to locate these trout. So let's get to it. I'll be really happy with one trout and these are wild trout so they don't get really big. If you guys haven't yet, press that subscribe button and join me on this adventure. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm using today. This is my St. Croix Trout Siri Rod. It is an ultralight, fast action. It's a two-piece, six-foot rod. Really nice, awesome rod. This is the rail seat. Look at that rail seat. This is a really unique handle that I like a lot because I can feel all these little nibbles from these trout. And keep in mind, these trout in this river here, this river system, they're not big. And the reason why they're not big is go look at the creek. The creek is so small and and they're these are wild so they're not always fed like what you would see at the trout farm for the my lure right here you guys know i like using the panther martin this is a size number two and panther martins are really awesome for trout fishing and i like to use them for white bass also under this bridge man there's always a fish under here i swear because right here, I'm gonna tell you guys what we're looking for here. So we got this river system coming down, river flowing this way. These trout are just gonna, they're just gonna hang out down here because food is gonna flow down this river, this creek. And they're just gonna wait, they're just gonna ambush the food. And plus it's dark in here. You know, they like to hide in these little dark spots. Come on, I know there's got to be at least one fish in here. Oh, dang, I just missed one you guys. Let's go. Yes. Check that out, you guys. This is what I am here for. I gotta wet my hand really quick. All right. Check that out, you guys. Beautiful wild brown. I'm so stoked right now. I knew there was a fish in there, man. Check that out. Beautiful brown right here. Pooped all over me. That's all right. Let's snap a quick picture here and then we're gonna let this guy go. All right, we're gonna release this guy. 
Man, thanks for showing up, man. Wild trout. There we go. There he goes. Just chilling right there in the rocks. Dude, I knew there was gonna be a fish here. Man, beautiful brown trout. He's still down there. I don't know how well you guys, if you guys can see that, but he's just ch chilling right now. So just trying to look for a good fishing hole here. We got another nice little runoff right here. So hopefully there's a trout. I'm hoping there's a trout in this little pool right here. In this little pool right here. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to spook the fish. Ooh, dude, there was a trout following me. Dude, man. I saw a trout following me. Oh, what the? I got a tree. One thing about fishing for trout in this river, man. Space is very limited. You always have to watch out where you're casting. Dude, dude, I just lost one. All right, you guys, so quick update here. We caught one fish so far on the on the Panther Martin right here. And dude, I'm still so stoked about that. What oh, the heck? But, you know, the water is flowing really fast this way. So I think I'm gonna change up right now because if I use the spinner, I got to rail kind of fast. I can go against the current and rail slow, but I think I'm going to throw on a trout magnet so that way I can just let that little plastic go with the flow. So we'll see how that works, you guys. So this right here is my little pack with trout magnet. This pack lasts me a really long time. I need a new one. But I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to pick one up. Man, these things don't only catch trout. They catch everything. I've caught bass, northern, bluegill, pumpkin seed, smallmouth bass. I caught everything on these. All right, so I'm going to use this white one right here with the gold head. Hopefully we can get on something. So this right here is the presentation. So hopefully we can get on something here. All right, you guys see where there's this break right here? I am pretty confident. It holds a fish in there. Oh, oh, dude! Dang it, dude! I just lost one. Let's see if he comes back and hit it. That felt like a really nice one too.
All right, so right here, right at this turning point right here was where I lost that, that one that felt pretty big and I lost it on the trout magnet. So I'm gonna throw this blue fox gold spinner here. See if we can see if he would take it. This current is pretty strong. Ooh, dude. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. He came up for it. But he missed it. Oh no, 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 not right now. Dude, are you serious? Dang it. Come on now. Shoot. Now I gotta retie guys. It's alright. Just gonna give a chance for that fish to get back to where it was. Because a lot of time, if you miss one of these trout, they're not really gonna give you a second chance. Alright you guys, so that is it. If you guys did stick around for the whole video, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to call it a day. It's getting kind of late right now. And we got a car coming. <laughs> but, man, I'm pretty stoked. First day out, and I caught one trout. And I told you guys from the beginning, I'd be happy with one trout. We could have got more, but I missed a couple. Hopefully the tips that I gave you guys today can help you guys find these trout at your local trout rivers but anyways if you guys haven't yet press that subscribe button we still got a lot of water that we got to cover but part of this creek or river that we got to cover and we're going to come back and cover this water so hopefully we can get a couple more trout for you guys to see so remember hit that subscribe button you guys we're almost at a thousand super awesome and i'll see you guys next time